Well, here's the quote-unquote hater of MGK with another video. <laughs> I don't care for him. That's the bottom line. Anyways, enough of that video. Let's talk about NASCAR Thunder 2003 again, shall we? There was a tweet a few days ago that I countered that discussed about a particular texture involving Bush Series cars where certain Bush Series decals were unaltered. There's two of them to be exact. The problem is, that very tweet that I found this discovery is no longer there. Part of me is thinking it was 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix or Thai Thunder or Sledge, but no trace out of those three. By the way, I recommend to follow at 2002 Grand Prix at Thai underscore Thunder underscore 999 and Sledge LIX. They have incredible content, and also, those are the ones that I mentioned in my last NASCAR Thunder 2003 video that you guys should consider following. And if they have their YouTube channels, which they do, subscribe to them. That being said, without knowing who tweeted it because it's no longer there, I'll just do a video to discuss about those particular Bush Series textures. When it pertains to the driver of the number 40 EMP car, and Tim Sauter in the number 19, if you look very closely... You'll notice the Bush Series logo is unaltered. It's uncensored. Whereas all the other Bush Series cars, even some of the fantasy cars have the Bush Series logo. It's edited, altered, it just shows the Bush Series logo without the text saying Bush. And it says NASCAR on it, in the middle. Not the case with the 19 and the 40 car. And it's very, very noticeable in the 40 car. As you see in the video. And also in the texture render. Little oversight, don't you think? It's the same can be said about Daytona Road Course where you see the big Winston Cup logo, but everybody knows that. However, there are also some 2001 paint schemes that don't match the very 2001 paint schemes. For NASCAR Thunder 2003, there's a couple cars that says 2001, but they're different from the 2001 cars in NASCAR Thunder 2002. And I'm looking at the two Jeffs, Jeff Gordon and Jeff Green. You look at Jeff Green... There's a couple decals missing in Thunder 03 compared to Thunder 02. It's very noticeable. And I'm going to show you that right now with the render and then with the 02 clip. The same I'm going to do with Jeff Gordon. You see the render from Thunder 03 that is classified as a 2001 cup car. And when you look at Thunder 02, big differences. Especially, you see no Quaker State, you see no Slick 50. Let me re rephrase the Quaker State one. The Quaker State logo is different. In reality, there's no Quaker State logo where it's supposed to be, where it says Fritos and Lowe's. There's supposed to be a Quaker State logo under the old one. But if under 03, you have Fritos and Lowe's in that end. And the current Quaker State logo at that time, despite the fact that it's being labeled as a 2001 paint scheme. The Haas Automation logo is very tiny, but if you look at it, it is exactly the one from 01. And where you see the Quaker State logo, the smaller one, that's supposed to be Slick 50. It's not President Thunder 03. And then the most egregious example of a error is Bill Elliott's car, the 2001 paint scheme. The NASCAR logos are not correct in the sense of one end, you have the NASCAR logo in the right direction, whereas the other is mirrored. It's not facing the right way. And I thought, oh, that's just a blunder from the 03, but no! The same with Thunder 02! The NASCAR logo is facing the other way! On, on the right side of the car. It's a double whammy. Gotta love overlooking and overseeing those stuff and just nitpicking for the sake of nitpick. But I wondered if any of you noticed the error on Elliott's car, the full bore Bushier's logo on the 40 and Sauter's car, and also the inaccuracies of Gordon and Jeff Green's 2001 paint schemes of Thunder 03 compared to Thunder 02. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know the drill. If you wanna keep this channel alive, there's a link in the description below to do so. And I will highly appreciate any amount because that's the only way this channel can survive in the future. More importantly, continue to make these videos. So until we meet again, catch you guys and gals later. We live in a society where Detroit are playoff winners in football.